Tours. We need to talk. Not really, though. We don't actually need to talk, but I want to talk, so let's fuck talk. I've already talked about limited banners in, in a previous video, which you should watch, by the way. Link top right. There are too many limited banners in a row. Too many. When there are too many limited banners, I have to summon a lot. And when I have to summon a lot, I run out of fucking orbs. And when I run out of orbs, I can't summon even though I want to. And when I can't do what I want in a game, I start hating the game. Let me give you another example. During my Resident Evil 3 playthrough, which you should definitely watch by the way, link top right, I wanted to stop dying, but the game wouldn't let me. And so I'm starting to hate the game a bit. Now, after that shameless plug, let's speak about being a free-to-play player. Now, for the most part, I don't spend money on this game. There have been some occasions in which I bought tickets, not for the orbs. I bought them for the characters. Like, damn, that's an old season Rukia I probably will not be able to get. Or, damn, this is a great link. Or, damn, that's another seasonal Rukia I won't be able to get. But I don't buy orbs. And the thing about not buying orbs is that you do not have many transcended units. Which brings us to the next topic. This shit. The new guild quest sucks. Seriously. It sucks. I hate it. The only thing I like about the new guild quest is the amount of rewards you get if you get to wave 5 or if you manage to clear it. Somehow. Let's compare between the old and new guild quests. The old guild quest, if you had a character that had the correct attribute, correct killer, and some of the bonuses, you could get through the guild quest, get an S rank, get an easy 170k, even if your character isn't transcended, even if you have subpar accessories. Who's on the door? Stop it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. As I was saying, even if you had mediocre accessories, you could still manage to get through the uh, old guild quest, get a good 170k, be a cool guy in your guild. But with the new guild quest, the only thing you can manage is your fucking temper after failing to clear the guild quest for the 70th time in a fucking row. Fuck this game. Uh, let me calm down. Now I do have an advantage over other free-to-play players. What's that advantage, Isotope? And how do you get it? Well, it's, uh, I'm part of the 1% of the Bleach fans who absolutely despises Quincy's. <laughs> Speaking of Quincy's, did you hear that uh, one of the new characters is a PvP character? Yeah, that's our next topic, PvP. It fuck <laughs> talks. <clears throat> Why does it suck, Isotope? Well, it's, it's quite simple, actually. They keep releasing counters to the most overpowered PvP character four to five months after they've been released, and that doesn't help the game. I stopped playing PvP because I couldn't get Ichibe. And now suddenly everyone has a 5 out of 5 Ichibe, and I cannot get past third seat. And now they've released an Ichibe counter. And a few months from now... We'll be hearing about the Askin Lavar counter, or however the fuck his name is pronounced. My idea is, why not release one PvP character per banner, just a generic PvP character, not a counter to a specific character, Flurry, DR Link, Poise, maybe an immunity or two, barriers, stuff like that. And in six months' time, you'll have a plethora of PvP characters, and so everyone's not using the same fucking three characters. Everyone has two or three different PvP teams, and you have a balanced PvP. I've rambled on long enough. Let's take a look at the gameplay for the new characters. Whose banner I'm skipping, by the way.
Guess I'm summoning for the Quincy's.